guys, welcome back to Fly High Balloons Creations. My name is Deborah. If you're new here, we are glad to have you. And please consider subscribing to our channel if you like and find the content helpful. And to all of our subscribers, thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to show you five different ways how to add these adorable mini balloon clusters to the actual base of your balloon garland to give it texture and visual interest as well as fill in gaps. These simple yet effective techniques will make your balloon garland stand out and become the centerpiece of any event. So let's get started. First method, rubber band length. Take one rubber band and spread it with thumb and index finger, take another rubber band, hang it through, loop it over, under, pull, and link together. On one end of the rubber band, take a mini cluster and wrap the rubber band around one balloon and do the same on the other end. To add it to the garland, spread the rubber band and wrap it around the spanning two sections in the balloon garland. The second method, the half a 260 Q. Take a half a 260 Q balloon and tie it tightly to the neck of the mini cluster. To add it to the garland, take the half a 260 Q Wrap it around one balloon three times or more to make sure it's secure and let it go. Third method, the rubber band. Take one rubber band and wrap it around one balloon in the mini cluster. To add to garland, take the rubber band and wrap it around one balloon in the garland. Fourth method, the neck to neck. Take a scratchy neck in the mini cluster and tie it to a scratchy neck in the garland. Tip guys, when making your balloon clusters, make sure to have them twisted tightly together. If you, if you have not seen my video on how to make balloon clusters, or if you do not know how to make them, the video will be linked up top somewhere in the left or right hand corner of this video. Last but not least, the 260Q method. Take a mini cluster and tie it tightly to one end of the 260Q and tie tightly another mini cluster to the other end of the 260Q. To add it to the garland, spread the 260Q and wrap it around the spanning two sections in the balloon garland. And there we have it, five ways to add mini balloon clusters to your garland. But we are not done yet. I decided to take it up a notch just a little and add some floral. I believe I purchased these florals at Big Lots, but I will uh, link all the material that I use down in the description.
Another tip guys, make sure to insert your florals into an uninflated balloon to avoid your balloons from popping. There you have it, a stunning balloon garland with show-stopping balloon clusters. This simple addition takes your DIY balloon decorations to a whole new level. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked and found the video helpful. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I would love to hear your opinions. And if you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more balloon decor inspiration. Until next time, you guys stay blessed and we will see you in our next video. Bye.